What's up, ladies and germs? David with Solvic State. A few minutes of your time. You're already here, right? Just chill. Just chill for a minute. A few minutes of your time, I ask. You know, check it out, man. There's all this talk uh, today, yesterday, about uh, those Americans who uh, who rushed the uh, Capitol building. You know, they're being called rioters. They're being called insurrectionists, right? Joe Biden, president-elect himself, you know, called them uh, agents of chaos. He didn't actually say agents, but he said this. He said they're not. This isn't protest. He said it's chaos. These aren't dissidents. It's chaos. He called them terrorists. Help me understand. I'm missing. Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Here, let me know in the comments. You know, maybe, maybe there's something that I didn't catch. Um, there was an expectation that <clears throat> that the crowd, right? The crowd at the Capitol building that day, January 6th, there was an expectation that there was going to be an audit, right? An audit because people were going to challenge because we were told that senators, legislators, a hundred of them were going to challenge the electors presented by certain states. And in so doing, there was going to be a two-hour debate where evidence was to be presented. And there was other calls. It seems like uh, Ted Cruz was calling for a 10-day audit. And this is, what is this? This is transparency. This is not asking to overthrow an election. It's asking for transparency. And it's asking for an audit. It's like, can we get a double take on this? Right? Can we get a double take? Can we get... Can we get a, a sense, you know, if you're saying there's nothing to see here, if you're saying that this was, this is up and up election, can we, can we please get some paper, a paper trail here and get a sense of the confidence that we're supposed to have in our electoral process? So anyway, needless to say, man, that the people at the people at the Capitol building were told that this is what they were, this is what was going to happen this day, right? And then it was announced to them that no such thing was going to happen and that Mike Pence was was not going to contest anything, that he was just going to roll with it. And so people, some people lost their head over the whole thing, man, and, and they stormed, they stormed the steps, right? They stormed the steps, they kicked in the front doors, they kicked in the side doors, a couple of windows were broken, and then they walked around the inside of the building if I'm to understand this correctly, is that not what we saw? They walked around the inside of the building, took some selfies, took some pictures together, a few photo ops, right? <clears throat> this is the thing that everybody is is making such a stern uh, resent, uh, you know, rejection of that we we reject this this behavior, this writing, this these don't represent Americans. Blah blah. It's like, wait, what? Who cares? Who cares? I mean, what about what about the woman standing in the in that lobby area that got shot almost point blank range in cold blood by that capital uh, capital security, right? Capital building security. Wait, what? No one's talking about that. No one's talking about uh, Ashley Babbitt. Ashley Babbitt was her name. Had a Trump flag around her like a cape. And what you saw in that lobby was a bunch of people with flags, American flags, Trump flags, and they were kicking in a door. They were kicking in a door and breaking a window. I'm sorry, when did that ever become grounds for the for law enforcement to shoot somebody? Why is that not being talked about? Why are we all worried about the guy in the Viking helmet and, and whether he is or isn't with what, who cares? He didn't do anything. He rolled in there like the free American that he is, like the independent character and the boldness of Americans had his face painted in the red, white, and blue and stood up there and, and took a photo op, man. Big deal. It's not like he burned down a historic church, right? It's not like they burned down a Wendy's or shot at a car with a child in the back seat and killed the child. It's not like they looted the Walmart, right? It's not like they assaulted people in the streets. It's not like they shot and killed security guards. It's not like they they. It's not like they burned, looted, and killed 
for 10 months. Okay, they didn't tear down statues. They didn't burn down buildings. They didn't throw Molotov cocktails. They didn't shoot mortars, firework mortars at other at opposing crowds. Right? They kicked in the door. They kicked in the door. Who cares? So what? What about what about Ashley Babbitt? What about the audit, the 10-day audit? They couldn't give us a 10-day audit. And I think it just shows the lack of respect that they have for the people. As is the feature, the characteristic feature of despotism, of authoritarianism, a fundamental lack of respect for the people for whom they are supposed to serve in government. How are they serving the people when, when, when I mean, when that lady gets shot, the video's out. You can all see it. They don't even say, they, the media doesn't even really project what happened. They're just like, well, and shots were fired. Who shot, who, who? I tell you what, man, if it was BLM Russia, if it was BLM breaking in the door and a cop stood there and shot and killed a female, man, it would be hell to pay. There would be hell to pay. And you know that they wouldn't just give them a plaza and a street to name after them. I mean, check it out. What do we get? BLM riots in D.C. Did they not riot over the summer in D.C.? Were buildings not burned? Were stores not, were businesses not destroyed? And what do they get? They get a plaza and a street named after them. What do we get, man? We get a ticket. We get a kick in the teeth and we're told to go home. And don't put up with it. Don't tolerate it. Don't forget Ashley Babbitt's name. Don't forget her name when they're calling us when they're calling us traitors and when they're calling us terrorists, don't forget Ashley Babbitt's name. God bless. We will overcome.